Sildbury last updated 1330092017 Michael Stilegedy Images Ben Stokes has been suspended from England cricket pending an investigation into an incident in Bristol. Opinion for a moment, the events of this week seemed to be nothing more than a bad dream. A ginger-haired young man stood at second slip for England as their match against West Indies at Southampton, began very athletic too, and passionate about his cricket. But it was Johnny Bairstow, not Ben Stokes restored to the team, exonerated, and doing what he does best. England did not cope very well with Stokes' absence from their final game of this Fivimage one-day series against West Indies and of this interminable season. Without Stokes as a sixth bowler and safety valve, Tom Curranane had to bowl his full allotment of 10 overs on his one-day international debut and Jake Ball, as if distracted, was flogged by Chris Gale at the outset and kept on being flogged. Stokes' absence, however, is something with which England must now learn how to deal. Provided the man who appears to be Stokes in the released video is indeed him, he deserves to be suspended for at least three months to miss the Ashes and England's one-day series in Australia, whatever happens in the legal process. Read more Stokes fighting homophobia Piers Morgan Stokes, hail suspended by England Stokes under fire for alleged child mockery Bear Stokes blasts England to win over Windy's nervous 90s get their man as Elgar out on 199 there is no precedent in the annals of England's cricket team for what allegedly happened in the streets of Bristol early on Monday morning. But relevant parameters are supplied by other national sports, like football and rugby where current England players have been suspended for the damage they have done to other people and to the image of their sport. If the legal process culminates in Stokes being charged and convicted of a criminal offence, the ECB should extend his ban to cover the whole English off-season. No tour of New Zealand, the land of his birth no Indian Premier League, the source of his unrivaled income as an English cricketer. It should be next spring, when Stokes starts to play again, after all the necessary counselling, and with a clean sheet. Such a ban would be simple justice. At feedback it is a secondary consideration that England would be better off without him in Australia, because of the disruption that his presence would cause. Stokes would be fired up all right and ready to confront cheering crowds of tens of thousands to the point where the majority of 100,000 people at the Melbourne cricket ground would be roaring abuse in the Boxing Day test. But his teammates all of them less confrontational souls than he is would be dragged in. If the man who appears to be Stokes in the released video is Stokes then he has to be stripped of the test Visek obtains he too. Anybody, however provoked, who keeps on fighting and does not realize the time has come to back off, lacks the judgment to hold a position of such responsibility, although this should not deber him from holding future office after he has done his time and rehabilitation. England have no more committed team men than Stokes. But nobody has let England's cricket team down more than Stokes appears to have. It is conceivable that had he put his mind to batting this winter, England could have scored enough runs to retain the ashes he was masterly four years ago when he scored his century in Perth, the only one of the series for England. Without him, Alastair Cook and Joe Root plus all-rounders and rookies cannot do the job. In the fifth one-day international, England managed to win without Stokes easily enough it may be a long time before we say that again. Marlon Samuels, Stokes' former adversary who once saluted him in Granada, batted so slowly that West Indies did not score enough to pressurize England, and 289 was no great target. Stokes began this cricket season as the most valuable player in the IPL for rising pune supergiants. England ended it without their finest cricketer, who is no longer rising, no longer super, no longer a giant. If anyone had the last laugh, it was probably Samuels.